Good evening, class. Welcome. It is a pleasure to be with you again. And here we go. It is exactly the time to get started. So, class, I'm going to congratulate you because most of you have been working very hard on the platform. Okay. So, that is grateful for me. And it is, um, you know, a, something that I have to. Uh, clap you and congratulate you for that work that you have been doing on the platform. Congratulations, class. And here we go. Class, I am going to start sharing my PPT as every single day that we have been meeting since we began this class. Okay, so all of you are really welcome. Thanks a lot for joining. And here we go. Okay, let's see. Today is October the 2nd, 2023. And in our agenda, okay, hold it. In our agenda, we have the welcoming. We're going to read the objectives. We're, you are going to be evaluating meetings, information, products, services, and trainings. You're going to be reading a conversation about uh, products and services. You will be using the past of B to ask questions about situations in the past write questions to evaluate them using simple pass and pass of B and creating a conversation to evaluate products and services. So that is the agenda for today. And only a reminder, and I was congratulating to most of you, not all, but most of you, because most of you have finished <clears throat> unit one, two, three, four, and the meter test. And many of you have uh, finished the final test. So excellent because I expect that by tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, everything is done on the platform, okay? Because remember, you need at least at least the 80% on the learning platform and also the 80% in the attendance, okay, of the classes because the two things need to go together, not only the performance on the platform and not only the connectivity here in the, in the classes, okay? Because remember that everything is monitored by Insafor. Okay, so uh, every day your full name, uh, cameras on, minimize the sound as much as possible unless you are told not to do so. And active participation because only three more classes. Okay, after this, only three more classes. So you need to participate a lot. Let's take advantage of the scholarships. Attendance, it is required 100%, 120 minutes of your attendance to be effective. And as every day, I'm going to take the attendance twice. I'm going to call your names and it is going to be valid and effective when we listen to your voice saying, presente, here I am, present or here. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me for the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? Permissions are not allowed. You may report your absences to the administration, but neither they nor me are allowed to give you permission to skip classes. And then we have the microphone off, cameras on. This is the expectation. As every day, the two chats available, breakout rooms available, the ask for help button will be available for you while you are working on the breakout rooms and respect above all, okay? All of you are students. All of you are employees, so respect as peers, okay? And here the class is going to be over on October the 5th and <clears throat> that is why we need you to finish. There are some people who are owing me even just a few, thank God, with section number two and the midterm test and section number three. We are about to finish section number four. So I need you for those people who are, you know, not updated on the platform to finish. And here we have the objectives for today, okay? As every day, I'm going to ask one of you to help me reading, please. The objectives, who's going to be that volunteer? Who's going to read today the objectives for the class? Okay, one volunteer to read. Nobody, you, you have can. to participate. Thank you so much, sir. Please begin. Thank you, I appreciate. 
Okay. Objective. General objective. Participant will be able to describe performance reports. A specific objective. Participant participants will participant will be able to evaluate evaluate meetings, information, product, service, and trainings. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to evaluate meetings, information, product, service, and trainings. Very well. Excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate your uh, participation. And now let's have a short feedback on what we did in our last session on Friday. And here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing my manual. If you remember class, last class, you were asking and answering these questions. How often do you attend trainings? What other events uh, to take place at your workplace? Yes or no? No, this is for today. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yes, this was the one. And we were practicing the conversation, right? Yeah. Uh, hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was the new at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Mm, let's see. Andrew Chansam from England and Magali Senini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Uh, Senini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay, so I need to volunteer to practice this conversation as a feedback on what you did in the previous class to participants. I'm waiting for the participants. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Miss. You're going to be Lana. I need someone else to read Lorna. Thank you, Miguel Angel. And later, Guillermo Eduardo. Okay, okay, Miguel Angel. Okay. Okay, Miss, you begin. Reading Lana. Okay. Okay. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was a awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it, was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding? Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Jobson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to be for company two years ago. You're right. Very well. Okay, now uh, Guillermo, Eduardo is going to read Lana. I need another classmate to help him reading. Okay, Lorna, who is going to read with Guillermo Eduardo? Hello, class. I know. Noé, are you available? Could you help us reading as a feedback? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So you're going to read Lorna and Guillermo Eduardo. Hello. Are you here, Guillermo? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Hey, Lorna. How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lorna, yes. Yes, I did. The training was uh, with some. It was a uh, 10 new hotel. 
Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. It was was it difficult? Well, it's, it wasn't that uh, difficult, but I was very ch changing. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Zanini from Brazil. I love Miss Zanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay, thank you very much. Only let's remember that Lana says, ah, uh, Lorna says to Lana, Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. Awesome. Oh, you're awesome. Okay. And we say challenging, challenge, challenging, challenge. The new challenge in X, uh, you know, social network is blah, blah, blah. And then challenging, challenge, challenging. Very well. Thanks a lot. In class here, you were uh, answering these comprehension questions, yes or no? But class, do you remember that you were asking and answering some questions in past tense with the verb to be? Yes or no? Do you remember? Hello? Don't you remember those questions? I'm looking for them in the WhatsApp and I'm going to share them one more time, okay? Because, let me see, where is it? This is your group, okay, here. Yeah. There are some questions in there that I want you to ask, okay? So let me see. We are going to have a feedback on those questions, but here in general. And let's see, question number one. Giovanni, Henry Giovanni, ask question number one to one of your classmates. The ones that I have double double shared in the WhatsApp. Okay, ask the first question. What time did you get up today? That is the question that you need to ask to one of your classmates. Henry Giovanni, are you there? Hello? Yeah. Okay, Henry Giovanni. Question number one. Ask the first question to your classmates. One of your classmates. Okay. What time did you get up today? That is the question. You have it in the WhatsApp. Do you see the question? Henry Giovanni? I... Tengo que responder la pregunta, ¿no? You, no, you have to ask the question to one classmate. You only read the question and say the name of the classmate who is going to answer. Okay. Usted lee la pregunta y dice el nombre de quién es la persona que va a contestar. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, sería. Guillermo Eduardo. Okay, ask the question to uh, Guillermo. Read the question. What time did you get up today, Guillermo? I get up today at 5 a.m. No, I get up, no, I got up because we're using the verbs in past tense, okay? Remember that we are using the verbs in past tense and in the example, you have that verb in past. I got up at 5 a.m. Okay, Guillermo Eduardo, ask question number two to another classmate. You have the questions in the WhatsApp. Okay. Um, this question is uh, to Noé. Noé, get ready to yes. answer. Yes, ready. When was the last time you ate 
pizza. The last the last time uh, I ate pizza was uh, la semana pasada, como digo, teacher. Last week. Last week. Last the week. Last week. Very well. Now, Noé, you ask question number three to another classmate. Okay, teacher. Okay. Carlos Rivas. Carlos Rivas. Carlos eh, Rivas, pay attention to the question. Okay. Did you did you listen to music yesterday? No, I didn't. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Carlos Rivas, ask one question to another classmate. Okay, teacher. Uh, Rosalie. Rosalie, are you available? No, she's not. Ask the question to Andre. Okay, teacher. Sonia Esmeralda. I'm okay. Uh, Edwin Esaú. Okay, Edwin Esaú, get ready to answer the question. Edwin Hola. Esaú. Okay, great. Hi. Were you and your family together last Christmas? <laughs> yeah, <but> <laughs> I was at my company Christmas party. Yes, but were you and your family together in that party? No. No, no we party. weren't. No, we no, weren't. We, okay, no, we, no weren't. we weren't. Thank you. Okay, great. Now let's see. Noe, ask one another question to another classmate. Hello, Noé, are you here? Are you in class? Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, Henry Giovanni. Okay, Henry Giovanni, get ready for the question. Um, were you and your family at the beach last Sunday? <laughs> No, we weren't. No, we weren't. Very well. Now, Henry Giovanni, ask another question to one of your classmates. Okay. Um, Evelyn Jamile. Okay, Evelyn, get ready to answer one question. Yes. Did you eat pupusa last night? Evelyn? Mm, no, I didn't. Okay, thank you. Evelyn, ask one question to another partner. Okay. Um, Ursula Esteli? Question? I'm ready. Okay. 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 <laughs> What's your day night? Yes, it was. Okay. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to call your names to take your first attendance. Okay. Here we go. Let me see. Ana Cristina. Um, Andre. Arely Isabel. Nobody answers, okay. 
Carlos Enrique Rivas. Carlos. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. David Emanuel. Here I am, teacher. Great. Daisy Carolina. Daisy Carolina. Absent. Present teacher. Ed ah, ok. Ed thank you, Miss. Edwin Esaú. Thank you, sir. Elizabeth eh, Carla Minero. Carla Minero is absent. Evelyn Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Yvonne Menjibar. Yvonne Menjibar. Menjibar. Yvonne is absent at the moment. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer Beatriz. Present, Miss. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Mr. Flores, welcome. Present teacher. Catherine, Catherine Beatriz Reyes. Absent. Katia María. Present teacher. Thank you. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez, absent. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Miguel. Eh, Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Eduardo. Absent at the moment. Present. Ah, uh, here. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Humberto. Yes. Okay, Oscar Eduardo is here, but Oscar eh, Humberto. Oscar Humberto, where are you? Absent at the moment. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Miss Reina. Rosalie Bond. Present. Thank you. Sonia Esmeralda. Sonia is not here at the moment. Susana Carolina. Present. Thank you, Miss. I appreciate. Ursula Esteli. Ursula. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, class. Listen. I'm going to share with you the teacher. following. I'm going to share with you. Okay, here I have this. Uh, I have, as I told you, uh, Ana Cristina, she has finished all her homeworks, her uh, midterm test and the final test too. Andre only has worked on homework number one, 92%. I need you to work homework two, three, four, homework, uh, I mean, midterm test and the final test. Arely Isabel, she has worked only the 60% of homework three and 60% of homework four, 75% of, uh, no, I mean, 90% of the midterm test and the final test, 75. I need you. To finish, Arely. Carlos Enrique Rivas, he is over. He is only working on the final test. He has worked only the 75%. Danny has worked 100% homework one, homework two, homework three. You are owing me, Daniel, homework four, the final test. David Emanuel is owing me homework four and the final test. Um, Daisy Carolina is owing me, no, she's over. The only thing is that in homework three, you have 92%. If you want to get a higher score, you may finish, but that's okay. Thank you. Edwin Esaú, I need you to work on homework number four and the final test. 
Elizabeth, Miss Carla Minero, she needs, okay, she did the platform. That's okay. Evelyn Jamilet, congratulations, 100% in everything. Excellent. Kili Bon is owing me homework three, only 60%. You need to work on homework four and the final test. Guillermo Eduardo, you need to work homework number three, homework number four, and the final test. Henry Giovanni, you need to finish your homework number three, homework number four, and the final test, okay? Jennifer Beatriz, you need to finish homework four, and if you want to finish homework number three, and the final test. Um, okay, Miss, thank you. Okay, Juan Eduardo Flores, you have to finish the last test and you need to finish homework number three, Juan Eduardo Flores, okay? Because in number four, section number four, you have 92%, that's okay. But in homework number three, you have only six, 60%. Catherine Beatriz, I need you to work on homework number three because you only have 40%. And in homework number four, you have 72% and you are owing me the final test, okay? Let's speed up these days. And let's continue with the second part. Katia Maria de Leon, you need to finish homework four homework three, and the final test. Mm. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez, you need to finish homework four and the final test. But congratulations, Miguel Angel Santos. Everything is done 100%. Thank you, teacher. You finished. Noe Gustavo, I need you to finish working on homework four and the final test because homework one, two, three, and the midterm test, excellent. 100%. Okay, teacher. Okay. Oscar Eduardo Martinez, you need to work homework number three, homework number four, because you have uh, in homework number four, 96. Homework number three, 64, and you need to finish the final test. Oscar Humberto Argueta needs to finish homework number one. Homework number two, homework number three, homework, homework number four, the meter test and the final test. Reina, you only need to finish the test because in all the homeworks, 100%. In the midterm test, 100%. Okay? You only have uh, okay, to finish the final test. Rosalie Bon, mm, you only need to finish also the final test. Congratulations. Sonia, I need you to finish homework three, homework four, the final test also, okay? Susana Carolina, you need to finish homework number three. You only have 60%. You need to finish and begin working on un, uh, homework number four, okay? And the final test. And Ursula. Ursula, congratulations. You finished very well. And that's it. So remember, today is our class number 17. We only have three more classes in order to finish. Yes, that is why I told you that I had to congratulate you from the very beginning because most of you have done a great job on the platform, okay? Most of you, congratulations on that. Very well. Okay, class. So here we go. Right now, we are going to, okay, I'm going to continue sharing my PPT because we did the feedback. And I also told you about your, your homework, okay, class? Mm -hmm. Okay, we were working on the, 
on the objectives and then we were on the feedback and you were also asking some questions if you remember but also do you remember that we studied a video you saw a video and you wrote a list of what do you remember what you wrote the different techniques that uh, trainers use to develop the trainings, yes? And some of those methods are role-playing, another one. Come on, come on. You told me last class, role-playing, case study, another one. Summary, which was the other? Don't let me down, please. I have told you three. You need to tell me the other three. Try to remember. I know, don't make me cry, please. Okay. Investigation or research, yes. And others, right? And I also share with you a link in order to work on a worksheet, yes, online in order to practice the past tense of the verb to be, yes. Do you remember, class? And some of you got 10 in that activity online on the interactive activity, yes? And here we go, okay? We have the verb to be, yes? And let's remember that the verb to be in past tense is was, where, yes or no? Mm -hmm. The verb to be is a modal auxiliary and we use it in order to build questions also. For example, if I say, were you watching TV last night at this time? Okay, so here we have a question. And the subject is you. When we have a question with you, we answer in affirmative yes. Which is the pronoun that we use? If I ask you with you, were you? You answer yes. I was. I was. Yes, I was. Very well. This is in affirmative. Now in negative, no. I. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. Excellent. Very well. But if I ask you, were they in class last Friday? The affirmative answer is yes. They were. Yes, they were. Short answer. Very well. Yes, they were. And the negative answer should be no. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Very well. Mm -hmm. And that's it. But if I say, was he at the party last Saturday? The affirmative answer is Yes, he was. Great. Yes, he was. And the negative answer, no. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. Okay. But if I say, was she, was she in the training last week? The answer is? Affirmative, yes. She was. Yes, yes, she was. She was. And in negative, no. No, she, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Okay, very well. Excellent. I am with this feedback because I'm going to tell you that last class, because too many activities, okay, we continue with this. You were answering these questions according to the information, if you remember. And we were working on how to use the verb be in the past, right? 
was and where and in the negative. And here you were reading this paragraph. Yes, Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used the computer to present examples during the speech, yeah? While well, he was giving the, the, the conference, the training. And after you read this uh, information, you were answering these questions. Do you remember? How was the training? When was the training? Did you like it? What did you learn? Was the presenter helpful? Did he use examples? And now you have to write seven questions about recent events at your workplace using the past of B, similar to this one, okay? Were you at the training? How was the training? Was the presenter helpful? Was the training helpful or I don't know, okay? And uh, later you are going to ask these questions, the ones that you are going to write, las preguntas que van a escribir, se las van a hacer a un compañero. Is that okay? Yeah? This is the instruction. At page 40, you have to go over exercise six and you write seven. Seven questions about recent events at your workplace using the past of B, okay? Similar to this one, this one, okay? It can be a celebration, a training, a special lunch, a meeting. What else did we say in the, uh, a sports event? I don't know, because you were writing a list last class also about the events in your companies, okay? So I ask you, is the instruction clear? Hello? Está clara la instrucción? Yes? Okay. Now yes. I ask you, how do you feel more comfortable to work this activity individually here in the main session room or in the breakout rooms? Here. Okay, great. Excellent. Let's begin working on that, okay? When you finish, you tell me, teacher finished. Okay, great. Let's begin then writing seven sentences. You have to think about one event that happened in your company. It may be recent or, for example, the Mother's Day celebration, the Father's celebration, the Father's Day celebration, yes? Or in some companies, they celebrate the Children's Day for the, uh, the children of the employees, yes? If that was the case, you may ask questions. Uh, did they give uh, gifts? Uh, was a clown present in the party? Was the food delicious? Whatever. Or a baby shower, or a meeting, a training, any event, okay? You feel free to write about any event. If you have questions, I'm going to be here. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes so you can write those questions. Later, we're going to interact, okay?
Okay, class, when you finish, please tell me, okay? Write in the sentences. I have shared a link that we're going to use uh, after this activity, okay? But after this activity, I share it with you uh, via WhatsApp right now. Don't touch it. I'm going to give you instructions when you finish this exercise number six. If you feel more comfortable, you may here via, uh, via Zoom. If you finish, let me see if I have any message. No, I don't have any message. Okay.
Almost finished. Casi terminamos. Finished, teacher. Excellent. Great. Uh, would you like to share your questions with the class, Mr. Abrego? Okay. Okay, read your questions. And the meeting was boring today. It was not easy to talk with the okay. customer. Repeat, repeat, repeat the question. The first question, please. The meeting was boring today. No, 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 no. Um, okay, listen. I'm crazy. Because it is a question, we need to switch the word order. And then we say, was the meeting boring today? Yes. And the next question? Mm, okay, okay. You have to fix that, okay? Yes. Okay, only fix it and then you share with us again. Thank you. I appreciate that because maybe someone else was in the same mood. So thank you for sharing. Now you fix only the word order of those two words and that's it. Okay, um, Guillermo Eduardo, did you fix the situation? Mm, I'm finished the, the question, teacher. Okay, now let's share again, read them so we can check it out. Okay, say them. Mm, I only have three now. Okay, but read the ones that you have so we can help you. Okay, the first one, and uh, was the meeting boring today? Good. The number two, 
it was not easy to talk with the customers? Uh, was not easy, was not easy to talk to the customers? Was not easy to talk to the customers? And the third one, the third question? Um, and where no uh, number three i didn't finish no but if you uh use where is because it is plural okay yes uh-huh is where the co-worker work today where the co-workers working today yes where the co-workers uh, even though it is a past continuous but you use the verb to be in past where where co-workers uh working today that's okay okay thank you for sharing somebody else who has at least two or three so we can you know, the idea is that we practice building the questions and we write them correctly, okay? Another participant who wants to share his or her sentences, you. okay, Esteli? Did you work on Saturday? Excellent. That is in past tense. Did, did you visit clients last week? Okay. Um, was your boss in the training last month? Okay. Was your last week nice? When was the last time you take vacation? Okay, very well. Excellent. Even though uh, you were using did for questions in past tense, but also you formulated some sentences using the verb to be in past tense, correct? Because did is the verb exclusively to build questions in past tense, but also the verb to be was or were, because remember that the verb to be is a modal auxiliary too, yes? When we use the verb to be, we don't use did, yeah? And when we use did, you don't use the verb to be. And you did it correctly. Thank you very much. Great, congratulations. Uh, Ursula Esteli, very well done. Another participant, if you have two or three, we would like to listen to your sentences, okay? Okay, two more minutes to finish the activity because we need to go over the other sentences, okay?
Okay, the ones that are active, about to finish. Quienes son estudiantes activos esta noche, están ya casi por terminar. Yes. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, I want to participate. Uh, even I haven't gotten home yet. Okay. But but I I have only made four sentences. Okay, in right. This moment. Okay. Share them, and we're going to see if they are in the correct word order. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Le puedo decir mis oraciones? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay. Uh, when was where? When was? There an accident at your work. Okay, hold it. When was when was there there an accident at your work? Like this? When was there yes. an accident? Cuando hubo un accidente? Yes? At your work? Yes. Okay. It's Next. correct. Yes? Another one? Okay. How was your first day at work? Excellent. First day at work. Very well. Another one? Next. Uh, were you saving money last month? Were you saving money last month? Okay. Even though it okay. is in past continuous, but you are using the verb to be in past. Okay. That's why uh, I accept okay. it. Okay. Next one. Okay. Uh, how was the birthday celebration? at your company. At your company, very well. Oh, only teacher in this moment. Okay, very well, great. So you see, you can do it, okay? Another participant? Hello, nobody else. Finish, teacher. Okay, Guillermo. Finish reading sentence, your sentences from the beginning so we can recall your sentences, okay? Was the meeting boring today? Was not easy to talk with the customers? Okay. Were co-workers... Uh, working today okay was my supervisor happy last week okay when was the lunch with our boss very well was the chief interesting this sunday okay was the parking lot empty empty and this morning Okay. Excellent. Very well. Um, who else is active today and is going to share the, the questions? Hello? Somebody else? Nobody else? Okay. Hello, Noe, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay, yes. please. Uh, when was the last training you attended? You attended very well. Uh, what is the last job you did? Uh, Excellent. How, how many clients did you visit yesterday? When? Was the last meeting you attended? When was the last time your salary 
was in increased. Increased. Mm. Long, long time ago, they are going to say, okay. Uh, how many people didn't come to work yesterday? Very well. How many hours did you work yesterday? Finish. Congratulations. So you see, you can do it. Okay, Edwin Esau, are you ready? Uh, the microphone and read your sentences. The idea is that if you have something wrong, we need to correct it because you are here to practice and to learn, okay? Okay. Okay. What, where is the dying? Say it again. What, what were you doing? What were you doing? Okay. Doing. Uh, were you watching any movies? Okay. Were you watching any movies? Was she playing video games all night alone? Okay. Uh, who was cleaning this office? Who was cleaning this office? Good. Uh, were you watching a horror movie? <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, very well. Hi. Somebody else, class, who wants to participate reading the sentences? Nobody else. Okay, so Me right teacher. now, who? Me. Okay, okay, please, Henry Giovanni. What do you mean today? Excuse me, say it again, please. What do you mean today? Hmm? I didn't get it. Did you have any meeting? Yes, That's... Henry Giovanni. Did you have any meeting today? Is that the question? Ah, okay. Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. Okay, hold it. When was your last day in the Orient songs? Did you have any meeting? today okay the other one is okay continue with the next one you do how did they do yes um, did you like the afternoon training did you like the afternoon training very well how was your day at work excellent is and did you visit your family on vacation? Okay. Finish. Very well. Thank you so much. Great. So congratulations, class, for the participants. All the participants did a great job. Now, class, I have shared with you a link, okay? Open that link, please. And you log in. And the, for the worksheet. It is via WhatsApp, okay? It is via WhatsApp. And then in exercise number one, you choose the correct verb to complete each sentence. Here, for example, Carla didn't look back. She didn't clean or cleaned her room. You have to tick the one that you consider is the correct form of the verb is it clean or cleaned and so on from number one to number mm -hmm. ten in the second part of the activity you are going to want to scramble the sentences who has the microphone open okay so here as i was telling you in the second part of the activity you are going to want to scramble the sentences you drag the option drag and drop Tú arrastras y sueltas la opción. 
to write the correct sentence. You are going to look for the correct word order. For example, uh, did she ask for help? Okay, that is the correct word order for a question. But you have in this second part, clean your room, you did. And then you are going to drag, okay, in order to complete the, the, the sentences. And when you finish, remember that you have to click on finish. You click on finish, then you are going to see two windows. You click on the one, check my answers, or ver mi respuesta, depending if you have it in English or in Spanish. When you finish, you're going to see your average, your grade on the top of the page. And you take a screenshot of that and you share it with me via WhatsApp, okay? So I can uh, verify your average. And that's it, let's begin. Let's begin using the past tense of the verbs. And did or didn't. Past tense. Okay, we're working with the past tense. Remember that. It is the past tense, the one that we are, uh, how to use the verbs in past tense, the verb to be, and did and didn't, okay? Let me know when you finish that exercise on the worksheet online.
about to finish the worksheet. Ya casi terminamos con la hoja interactiva. Yes, sir. Okay, excellent. That is a good training. Very well done, class. Excellent. Great. Mm, but we don't see your average, miss. Because we, don't, we only see 10, but mm, we don't see your average, miss Maritza. No vemos su nota, miss Maritza. Congratulations, class. Okay. Pero a mí no me carga la página. Que de ahora estoy what? intentando. Maybe your internet is weak or it is low. Okay, great. Very well. So we have been practicing interactively the past tense, okay? The structure for the past tense. Very well done. Great. Congratulations. Now let's continue. Okay, remember that it is a practice, yeah? And now class here we go over. We here you're going the purpose of this activity is that you evaluate meetings information products and services so listen to the instructions work in groups okay small groups breakout rooms and take turns to ask and answer the questions on exercise one page 41 volunteer to share with the class and the questions are this okay how often do you evaluate products at your company? Who is in charge of buying supplies at workplace? Okay, that is at your workplace. Okay. 
I'm going to share this. It is in your manual, but I'm going to share it via WhatsApp for your comfort. Okay, but let me see. Okay, but hold it. Because I don't see where, okay, here. Here it is. I'm going to share this. Maybe a WhatsApp. For your convenience. And now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms so you can ask and answer the questions. Everybody, please, actively participating, answering the questions according to the reality in your company, okay? So here we go. Let me see. Okay, let me see someone else here. Okay, let me see how one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to share the invitation so you join to your groups and ask and answer those two questions. Okay, it is about the information uh, at your company. Join your groups, please, and let's begin asking and answering the questions, please. Okay, join to your groups and let's begin practicing. Hello class, here you are. Uh, Marisa Elizabeth, Henry Giovanni, Eduardo Flores, Carlos Rivas and Edwin Esaú. Okay, let's begin asking and answering the questions. It is about real information in the companies that you work for, okay? Okay, who is going to start asking the questions? ¿Quién va a comenzar a hacer las preguntas? Maybe Mr. Flores, where are you? Edward Flores, where are you? Here I am. Okay, you address the questions to one of your classmates. Okay. Okay. Carlos, how often do you evaluate products at 
your thoughts on it. They are evaluated according to inventory rotation. Who is in charge the buying sent? If you need yeah. more time. Yes. Uh, broad uh, evaluation in my company are very frequently. Since I quality products are offered to customer. Very question. And who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? And the people who buy our product are all the people who have the need to build since I we offer construction construction product and service. Excellent. Okay. Now Noe is going to ask the questions. Okay. Uh, Oscar Eduardo, you yes. ready? Yes. Oh, okay, ahorita. Uh, how often do you evaluate your product at your company? In my company, we evaluate the product and sometimes only if it's necessary. Okay, uh, who is the chairman of building supply and your co workplace? In my workplace, the the person, what if uh, the name is Evelyn Martinez and she is the manager purchasing. Okay, very good. Now, Oscar Eduardo, you ask the questions. Okay. Uh, I don't know if Miguel Angel Santos. Miguel Angel, are you available? Miguel Angel, are you there? No, it seems he's not. Maybe if you ask the questions to Guillermo Eduardo. Okay. Guillermo, are you available, Guillermo? Yes, it's right. Okay. Okay, Guillermo, uh, how often do you evaluate products at your company? We never evaluate products at my company. And who is charge of buying supplies at your workplace? Um, I don't know. I don't know who is in charge of that. Okay, now Guillermo, you ask the questions maybe to Ursula Esteli or Arely Isabel. I don't know. Ursula, did you answer the questions already? Not yet. Not yet. Teacher. Okay, Guillermo, please ask the questions to Ursula Esteli. Okay. How often do you evaluate products at your company? The products um, very frequently, but in my company, uh, we evaluate service mm. every month. Every month, evaluate the service of all the missions. And we made a survey of the customer um, every month. Okay. And uh, who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? Um, is the logistics department. Thank you so much. Very well done. Great on you. 
Uh, so, Reina Isabella and Oscar Eduardo are not available. So, class, let's get back to the main session room so we can continue. Yes, very well. Thanks for your active participation, guys. Now, let's return. <laughs> Thanks for the ones who were actively participating. Okay, and now we continue. And here we go. We're going to practice this conversation, okay? You know that here we are going to be evaluating meetings, information, products, services, and trainings. That is what I told you in the, uh, in the objectives, okay? And also, in the agenda. We have this conversation between Han, Hank and Eric. These two guys over here. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself, downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, one more time. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product, of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or uh, did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Two volunteers, two participants to read this conversation, please. Tell me who are the, the participants reading this conversation? I don't see your hands. Tell me me. Or do you want me to choose you? Okay, Oscar Eduardo, you're going to read Hank. Thank you so much. I need another participant to read Eric. Henry Giovanni, you're going to read Eric. Let's begin. One, two, three. Go for it. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spay part of the sweeping machine? I did, Robert. The price was seven, eight dollars. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. The new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Very well. Now you are going to switch roles, okay? The two participants switch roles. Okay. Okay. Hi, Eric. 
did you buy the spark bar for the sewing machine? Sewing machine. Yes, I did, Robert. The price was seventy-eight dollars. Okay, I need I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Well, did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Very well. Okay, class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. You are going to practice this conversation the same as your classmates did. They model it for you. The first time you read Hank, the second time you read Eric. When you finish, you are going to go over exercise number three. And then you are going to answer this three questions based on this information. Is that okay? Yes? But before we go to the yes, breakout yes. rooms, I'm going to call your names in order to take your attendance because uh, it is almost time and you're going to be in the breakout rooms when it is the time for the attendance. Ana Cristina, remember that you have to say present or here I am. De, uh, Andre, Arely Isabel, present. Thank you. Carlos Enrique Rivas, present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto Membreño, Dani, Pre present teacher. Thank you, David Emanuel. David, present. present. Okay, because I didn't see. Ah, yes. Okay, that's it. Uh, Daisy Carolina, present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Esaú Galdames, Edwin, no, always here. Thank you so much. Elis, uh, Miss Carla Minero is absent, right? Evelyn Yamilet, did you get back, Evelyn? Because she has problems with the connectivity. Okay. Jill Yvonne Menjivar, Jill Yvonne, absent, Jill Yvonne. <laughs> Guillermo Eduardo, Present teacher. Thank you, eh, Guillermo Eduardo. Giovanni Rivas, Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer Beatriz. Here or Present, I? miss. Okay. Uh, Juan Eduardo Flores, Mr. Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Edward. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, Catherine. No, Jill Yvonne. Ah, okay, thank you, Jill Yvonne. Great. Chill, Yvonne. Okay, Catherine Beatriz, are you here, there, or where are you, Catherine Beatriz? Absent. Katia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Katia. Maritza Elizabeth. Present teacher. Great, Miguel Angel Santo Cortez. Present teacher. Thanks. Noé, Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, Oscar Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Oscar Humberto. Absolutely. Present, teacher. Ah, you're here. Okay, thank you. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Thanks. Rosalie Bon. Rosalie absent today. Okay. Sonia Esmeralda. Susana Carolina. Present. Thank you, Miss Caroline. Sus, eh, Miss Susana Carolina. Ursula Esteli. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Now, class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Remember to practice actively, okay? The conversation, you switch roles, and later you answer the questions. Okay, here we go. Okay. Join your groups, please.
go to your groups. David Emanuel. Let me see. Oscar, Daisy, Marisa, Ana Cristina, Oscar Eduardo, Sonia, David Emanuel. Don't see him. Okay, go to your groups. Come Sí. ¿Qué, les parece, ¿Qué les parece si practicamos? Voy con Han, luego voy con Eric, luego entra otro con Han, luego entra otro con Eric y de ahí nos vamos, practicamos todo. Son varias oraciones. ¿Qué les parece? Ok, voy a empezar. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the swimming, swimming machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was. $78. Carlos Henry, ¿quién va a entrar? Ah, ok. Entro yo, pues. Um, ok. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be right tomorrow. Okay, did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, yes I, I went to get it by myself downtown. Who was, was the customer, customer service? It was nice as usual. Démosle de nuevo y contestamos las otras. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spider? Far for the swing machine. Yes, I did, Robert. The price was seven, eight dollars. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Oh, the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online? Or did you buy it in downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? I was Nice as usual. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spur for, for the swimming machine? Yes, I did. Robert. Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Wait, did you order it online? Or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by Mason downtown. Who was the customer service? It was night as usual. Okay. With the second part. Okay, listen. Hello. 
you have Maritza Elizabeth here. Who is going to practice with Maritza Elizabeth? I need one of you to practice with Maritza Elizabeth, please. Okay, Maritza. Okay, Giovanni and Maritza. Comienzas tú, Maritza. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spear part for the release machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. The new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by Mason downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Hoy comienzo yo. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spark part for the selling machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price is $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Okay, did you order it online or did you buy in downtown? Downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself. Downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice uh, as usual. Okay. Okay, now the second part. What did I Compañeros. Are you still in class, guys? So you can help Henry Giovanni and Maritza Elizabeth. Yes, mm -hmm. Carlos Rivas. Excellent. The number, okay, they the, are number, one. the number one. How was the customer service at the store? Just, that uh, is the last one question. Right before the How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. I think that is the answer. What do you uh, think? Yes, that's the, the answer. That is the answer. Okay. It was nice as usual. Okay. We, we got it. We finished. It was nice as uh, usual. It, yes. it was nice as usual. Yes. Okay. We finished. Okay, all of you finished? Yes. Yes, yes. Everybody, everybody practice in here the conversation. Noé, Guillermo, Ursula, Oscar Eduardo, Arely, and Miguel Angel. Only Miguel Angel. It didn't. didn't participate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now let's return to the breakout rooms. Yes, I mean the main session room. Let's leave the breakout <laughs> rooms. Okay. I <laughs> because I was reading breakout rooms. Let's.
Okay, here we go. Now let's answer the questions as a group, as a class, okay? Number one class. Let's see. What did Eric need to buy? What did he need to buy? ¿Qué necesitaba comprar? Hello, someone with the answer? Nobody has the answer. The spare part for the sewing machine. Okay. <laughs> he needed to buy the uh, spare part for the um, sewing machine. That's correct? Excellent. Very well. Yes. Thank you for your participation. What about number two? What was the price of the product? How much did it cost? In other words, it $8. was eight dollars. Was it was um seventy eight dollars? Yes, it was seventy eight dollars. Now, how was the customer service at the store? It was nice as usual. It was nice as usual. Yes. And those are the answers. Now, what are we going to do as the last part, as a golden touch for the class? You use your names. You forget about Eric. You forget about Hank. You forget about the price and you forget about the sewing machine. Because, for example, if I say, hi, Danny, did you buy the expert part for the, um, for the printer? Yes, I did, teacher. The price was uh, $50, for example. Okay, I need the valuation of the product, of the new product. That's right. Ah, it will be ready tomorrow morning or this afternoon, this evening, I don't know. Great, did you order it online? And then the conversation continues, okay? So you are going to replace, okay? You are going to substitute the names of the participants, the, um, the name of the machine that you are going to be looking for the spare time, the price, you eliminate that. And remember to replace also the names. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, and also when it is going to be ready. You decide if it is uh, in the afternoon, in the evening, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, or next week, I don't know, okay? And then it continues with the same, okay? Is it clear the instruction? Yes. Está clara la instrucción. Yes. Hola. Okay. Now let's work very fast. Okay. Or for the computer. I don't know. You use your imagination or any machine that you use at work. Okay. Let's practice. Join your groups. Let's speed up because it is almost time. Join your groups. I sent you the invitation. Okay, go to your groups. Teacher, yo todavía tengo duda. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer acá? Van a hacer una conversación similar a esa, pero van a sustituir únicamente lo que les marqué, lo, les resalté. Cambian esos nombres por sus nombres. Van a cambiar eh, la maquinaria a la que están arreglando, ¿verdad? Puede ser una printer, computer, iPad, cell phone, o a car, a una máquina que ustedes utilizan en su trabajo. 
el precio lo van a cambiar y el periodo cuando van a entregar el informe que les están pidiendo, la evaluación del producto que compraron. Eso nada más, solo esto que está subrayado, eh, resaltado es lo que van a cambiar y sus nombres obviamente, ¿ok? So you decide, Henry is going to practice with Carlos, Edwin or Maritza. Or you may create one conversation and you practice it, all of you, ¿ok? Crean una sola conversación y después solo cambian los nombres. That would be another mm -hmm. alternative, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. okay. Uh, um, uh, Gray, did you order online or did you buy it down? Okay. Bye. Okay. Come with them. Come Hi, Noé. Did you buy the spare part for the computer? Yes, I did, Ursula. The price was uh, the $100. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be ready next week. Wait, did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to, to get it by myself uh, downtown. Okay, how was the customer service? It was nice as uh, usual. Yes. Yeah. Okay, más le okay. podemos cambiar. No, that's okay. You follow the instructions. Siguieron las instrucciones. And now with Oscar Eduardo. Practice with Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo, are you available? Yes. Okay, Noé and Oscar. Or Ursula okay. and Oscar, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh... Hi Eduardo, uh, did you buy the third part for the the computer? The computer? The computer? Yes, no. Uh, yes, I did know. Uh, the price was uh, twenty dollars. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. It will be ready this afternoon. And great. Did you order the in online or did you buy in Domtao? Yes, I went to get it by myself uh, on downtown. Who was the customer service? It was nice. As usual. Okay, great. Uh, congratulations, group. You did a great job. Excellent. Uh, Oscar Eduardo. Hello, Oscar Eduardo. Yes. Uh, necesito que se quede conmigo después de la clase. ¿Me hace ese favor? ¿Cree que puede? Un ratito. Sí, claro. Okay. Sí, sí. Let's get back to the main session room class. Congratulations to the people who were actively participating in the breakout rooms in the conversation, okay? You did a great job. Let's wait for the other partners to come back. Okay. Now they will be here in 25 seconds. And also, thank you so much for the ones 
who share the average in the worksheet online, practicing with the past tense of the verbs and with the structure for the past tense. Okay, it was great. That is a very good practice. And I'm going to take a picture for the people who stayed until the last minute of the class. Please activate the cameras for the picture class. I need you to activate the cameras if it is possible. Remember that everything is uh, checked by InsaCorp, okay? So here we go. This is the evidence that you were in here for the last minute of the class, okay? One, two, three, say yes. We're going to wait for David, okay? Nice smile. And then wait. Now I'm going to share it with you via WhatsApp. That's it. Here. Remember class, we only have only three more classes and I need you to finish your work on the platform, okay? Please do that. Uh, Oscar Eduardo is going to stay with me for the one-on-one -on -one session. To the others, thank you so very much. Have a good night. Continue working on the platform. God bless you and hope to see you on the next session tomorrow night, okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye. Continue working. Okay. Yeah. Have a great night. Have a good night. Only Oscar Eduardo stays with the teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you for joining. Okay, Edward, here we go. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the others to say goodbye. And here. Bye-bye, Jill Menjivar. Bye-bye, Ana Cristina. The class is over. I'm going to stay with Mr. Oscar Eduardo. Bye-bye, Miss Ana Cristina. Okay, here we go. Mm, let's see. ¿Cómo le ha ido en la plataforma? En la plataforma. Fíjese que uh -huh. he tenido unos problemas. Bueno, la vez anterior, en el módulo anterior, también tuve ese inconveniente con lo que es eh, la, eh, completar o ordenar las, las oraciones. Ok, porque acá, Oscar Eduardo, me aparece, fíjese, usted hasta el momento, veamos, Oscar Eduardo. Sí, eso me, me... Oscar Eduardo, en el primer, eh, la primera tarea es section one, 88, that's okay. Number two, uh -huh. 88, number four, 64. En el homework uh -huh. número cuatro tiene ya 96, ¿verdad? Pero sí. si puede incrementar el, el, el trabajo en la sección número 3 para que su promedio sea más alto sería excelente porque tiene 95 en el examen eh, de midterm y le haría falta el, el examen final, claro. ¿verdad? Porque tiene 87 ya en el examen, en, perdón, en la semana 4, ya lleva bien adelantado. Entonces solo sería sí. que tal vez trabaje un poquito más del homework 3 y, el, el, y que termine el homework cuatro y el examen y ya, ¿verdad? Para que pudiera sí, claro. avanzar. Entonces, sí se ha ido registrando su progreso, ya está bastante avanzado, ya estamos más tranquilos. Eh, les uh -huh. compartí al inicio de la clase eso, pero probablemente quizás a uno se había unido, por eso le estoy eh, compartiendo nuevamente, ¿verdad? Para que vea sí. que sí se ha registrado su trabajo, pero me debe el examen final y que me complete eso, esas dos secciones y ya, ¿ok? Para que tenga un good average. Ok, now let's practice, uh, Oscar, some reading, ¿ok? And here we go. Uh, you are going to read Hank, and I'm going to read uh, Eric. Ok, let's begin. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spade part of the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? 
it was as usual. Okay. Now we switch. Okay. Okay. You begin. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was seventy-eight dollars. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. And then here, please read this. I'm going to read it once and later you read it for me. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used the computer to present examples during the speech. Now you. Okay, Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interest, interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts. Mary had, he used a computer to present examples during the speech. Excellent, great, very well, you have good pronunciation. So now here, this is what we practiced uh, last class and today as a feedback. You are Lana and I read Lorna, you begin. Hey Lorna, you are, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Uh, tell me everything about it. What is, was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. How were the speakers? Uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. Now let's switch. Okay. Hey, Lorna. How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Great, very well. So here, I, and here we have the conversation between Pedro and Max. You begin, you are Pedro, I read Max. Okay, good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigit. Good morning, Mr. Rigit. This is uh, Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Oh, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings on the feedback we have about him. <clears throat> from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has that it is required at a managerial position? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I do. Now let's switch. I begin. Good morning. This is Mr. Petro Rajet. Good morning, Mr. Rajet. 
This is Max from each air. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Hey, um, and one more conversation. Mr. Perez okay. and Jackie, you are Mr. Perez, I am Jackie. You begin. Okay. Good, good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? Mm, I'm afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this for you first. Now I am Mr. Perez and you read, uh, Jackie. Good morning, okay. this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, you're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First, blah, blah, blah. Okay, thank you so very, so very much. I appreciate the time that you uh, gave me tonight. Continue working on the platform, please, because only uh, three more classes, okay? And the course is going to be over, and I need you to speed up. Have a good yes. night. Hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, sweet dreams. Thanks. The same for you. Okay, likewise. Bye-bye.